Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna learn about volumes of revolution around horizontal lines using disks and washers. Here's the general strategy. For disks, we need to determine the radius and then set up the integral and solve. For washers, we need to determine the outer radius and the inner radius, then set up the integral and solve. Let's do some examples. Example one, find the volume of the solid formed by rotating the region between f of x and g of x around the line y equals five on the interval zero one. The first thing we need to do is determine if we're going to be using disks or washers. Since there's space between the region and the axis of rotation, that means we'll use the washer method. And that means we need to determine the outer radius and the inner radius. Now the distance from y equals five to the x-axis is just five, and the distance from the x-axis to f of x is f of x. So that means the outer radius, big R, is five minus f of x. In the same way, we'll determine the inner radius, little r, and that would be five minus g of x. Note that the outer radius is the distance to the curve that's farthest from the axis of rotation. And the inner radius is the distance to the curve that's closest to the axis of rotation. Now that we have big R and little r, we can find dv, the volume of one washer. And that would be pi big R squared minus pi little r squared times dx, the infinitely small width of the washer. And now to find the volume of revolution, we just need to add up all of the dvs from zero to one. And the way we represent that is with the definite integral. So the volume is pi times the integral from zero to one of the quantity of five minus f of x squared minus the quantity of five minus g of x squared dx. We can plug this into a calculator and we get the answer, 7.2 pi. Let's do another example. Find the volume of the solid formed by rotating the region between f of x and g of x around the line y equals negative one on the interval zero one. So just like the last example, we have space between the axis of rotation and the region. That means we'll use the washer method. The distance from y equals negative one to the x-axis is one. That means the outer radius is one plus g of x. And that means the inner radius is one plus f of x. And so now that we have the outer radius and the inner radius, we can write the equation of dv, the volume of one washer. And then to find the volume of the solid, we can write the definite integral. And after solving with a calculator, we get 6.8 pi. Example three, find the volume of the solid formed by rotating the shaded region under g of x equals ln x around the line y equals negative two on the interval 0.135 to four. In this case, there's no space between the axis of rotation and the region itself. That means we'll use the disk method. So now we just need to find the radius. We can think about this in two ways. The distance between y equals negative two and the x-axis is two, and the distance between the x-axis and the function is g of x, so the radius is two plus g of x. Another way to think about this is by taking a rectangular sample strip. The height of the rectangle is g of x minus negative two, which is the same thing as g of x plus two. Now we can write dv, the volume of one disc, which is pi r squared dx, which is equivalent to pi times the quantity of two plus g of x squared dx. And that means the volume of the solid is pi times the integral from 0.135 to four of the quantity of two plus g of x squared dx, which equals 26.507 pi. Let's do one more example. Find the volume of the solid formed by rotating the shaded region around the line y equals two on the interval zero four. Note that f of x equals radical x. Here we can see that there's no space between the region and the axis of rotation. That means we'll use the disk method. So let's find the radius. The distance between y equals two and the x-axis is two, and the distance from the x-axis to the function is f of x. That means the radius is two minus f of x. Now we can write dv, which is pi r squared dx, or pi times the quantity of two minus f of x squared dx. And now we can find the volume, which is pi times the integral from zero to four of the quantity of two minus f of x squared dx, which gives us 2.667 pi. So now we've seen examples of volumes of revolution around a horizontal line above and below a region using both disks and washers. 
And now you just need to practice. And that's how you rock calculus.